Hey there, story lovers. Welcome back to another thrilling chapter of our tale. Today, we're diving into chapter two, where the sun sets over the mystical town of Mystic. Picture this. Cobblestone streets bathed in a golden hue, a lighthouse standing tall against the horizon, and a fog that curls around like a playful spirit. Our heroes, a young girl and a boy, find themselves at the doorstep of a mysterious lighthouse. The air is thick with anticipation, and secrets are about to unfold. So, buckle up, because this chapter is going to take you on a journey through time and memory. Let's get started. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting a golden hue over the cobblestone streets of Mystic, a young girl and a boy stood before the weathered door of Evie Sinclair's lighthouse. The salty air was thick with anticipation, and the fog curled around their ankles like a playful spirit. The girl's heart raced, not just from the chill that nipped at her cheeks, but from the weight of her family's secrets pressing down upon her. She glanced at the boy, whose brow was furrowed in concentration, shadows of doubt flickering across his warm brown eyes. Evie, with her silver hair gleaming like moonlight, welcomed them with a smile that radiated warmth. Come in, dears. The lanterns have stories to tell, and tonight we shall listen. Inside, the lighthouse was a sanctuary of memories, filled with the scent of aged wood and the faint echo of the sea. Evie led them to a table cluttered with lanterns of all shapes and sizes, each one a vessel of light and shadow. Evie began to recount the history of the Winter Lantern Festival, her words weaving a tapestry of the town's collective memory. The ghost of Mayor Callahan, a figure shrouded in sorrow, emerged from the tales, his presence a reminder of the unresolved issues that haunted Mystic. The girl felt a shiver run down her spine, a connection forming between her and the ghostly figure that transcended time. As the lanterns flickered to life, casting colorful shadows that danced across the walls, the children took turns peering into the glowing orbs. Each lantern revealed visions of the townsfolk's pasts, moments of joy intertwined with regret, laughter mingling with tears. They gasped as they witnessed the struggles and triumphs of their neighbors the weight of their secrets laid bare before them. But with each revelation came a rising tension. The townsfolk, once united in their skepticism of the festival, began to resist the truths that the lanterns illuminated. Confrontations erupted in the town square, where fear and anger threatened to tear the community apart. The girl's heart ached as she watched the familiar faces of her neighbors, their expressions twisted in denial unwilling to confront the shadows of their pasts. In that moment, she understood the gravity of her quest. The lanterns were not just a means of illumination, they were a call to action. With the boy by her side, she felt a surge of determination. They had to help the townsfolk find closure, to guide them through the fog of their memories and into the light of understanding. As the night deepened, the ghost of Mayor Callahan lingered at the edges of their vision, his translucent form a reminder of the challenges that lay ahead. The girl felt a personal connection to his story, a thread that bound her to the town's history. The ghost's sorrowful expression mirrored her own fears, and she knew that the path to healing would not be easy. 